This is McCook's Mr. Bill's an honor to have you here. Got a basket full of tomatoes. Most of 50 pounds of tomatoes that we've already harvested from my garden and my wife and I's garden. I'm not gonna take all the credit. And we started with seed. We worked the ground. We protected the baby plants. We watered. We kept them, the bugs away from them and disease. And because of that, we're going to have hundreds of pounds. Perhaps we can even hit the thousand pounds of tomato mark that I like to hit, if at all possible. A thousand pounds of tomatoes on a small patch in my yard. But be that as it may, we've done quite well this year. And I took some to the county fair. Red Willow County Fair is going on. And I was successful in so much as getting a few ribbons, including a purple ribbon for a zucchini plant. So I hope you consider gardening down the road for yourself and your family. And yes, I know they'll try to tell you that uh, the white man doesn't work and that's why they have to have the illegals come in to do the work of gardening and what have you. But I don't care what color your skin is, you can garden and you can raise crops and food for yourself rather than to expect the government to give you anything. But you're here for a story. Okay, you want a story. Well, this last week we had uh, the news telling about a black woman got stopped for not using a turn signal. A terrible thing that happened and it escalated thanks to law enforcement, heavy hands. And they uh, ended up putting her in jail and charged her with all sorts of other crimes uh, and uh, abuses to the law enforcement officer, supposedly, even though she was the one thrown on the ground and beat up. Be that as it may, they put her in jail and there she supposedly committed suicide. A woman that had everything to live for, including a new job, was coming around the corner for her. A terrible tragedy or a murder, whichever you look at it. Be that as it may, I'll tell my own traffic violation story. Some years back, I had, uh, I was working at the bakery, still do, and was coming home about three in the morning, give or take, and uh, had made the corner, didn't use a turn signal. There wasn't another car on the street in any direction that you could see in the middle of the night in McCook, that's the norm. And off to the side, though, was a state patrolman. Well, he pulled me over, and uh, he walked up there, and you know, I had already taken my seatbelt off and was reaching for my glove compartment box to get my uh, uh, license or registration out. And he said, you've already broken the law by taking off your seatbelt. I didn't give you permission to do that. And I said, I didn't know I needed permission to take off a seatbelt. And he said, well, that seatbelt off, you might get out and attack me and beat me up. And I said, really? I said, at the time, I think I was 58 years old, I said, you really think a 58-year-old man has much of a chance against a police officer? I guess you had, what, 25, 27? And you got a taser, a tear gas, and a 9mm Glock with 14 rounds of hollow points filled with cyanide, I'm told rumor. And I, I said, you, you really think that you the one that should be afraid of in this incident here? Really? And so I got him calmed down from that and I handed him registration and everything. And he said, well, you didn't use a turn signal. And I said, well, sir, there wasn't another car on the street. And no big deal. And he said, it's the law. It is required. And he said, and I enforce the law. I said, you enforce all the laws? Yes, sir, he said. Well, I got him right there. And so I said, well, I'll tell you what then. Next time I go working out at the ranch out there part-time, I'll bring a horse back into town. And I'll ride by with that horse. Me and the horse will ride by you and your police car. And when you don't get out and cover your car with a white sheet, sir, I'm going to have you arrested. Because it is a 193 law that you have to cover your car every time a horse rides by you. 193 law. And it's still on the books. You bet. And he said, well, I don't enforce that law. And I said, well, then what laws are we supposed to know that you do or do not enforce? You have a list there so I can study it and try to keep track of what you do and do not. And do you, uh, does every officer enforce and not enforce the same laws that you do? 
By the time I got done with him, by the time I got done with him, I ended up not getting a ticket, but rather just a warning. And I think I pulled the strings on him just a little bit that he realized that there are people out there that will keep their wits about them, keep calm, and simply point out the insanity of most of the laws of this nation. And that's what I would suggest to everybody. And I would also suggest that for God's sake, if you're of color, be it of black or Mexican or some of the other minorities, the one thing you don't want to do is push their buttons, but rather stay calm, obey their commands, at the same time show them the insanity of the law system that we have. Rate this film.